All right, stage one is done. We're moving on to stage two. Before we do, let's do a quick recap. Stage one, we just used our graph paper to uh, make our templates, get our measurements down using the graph paper at uh, one inch by one inch. Let's us know that we come six inches down to our first piece of the road. Five inches for the road will be the, uh, the bottom edge. So what I've done is used my T-square and uh, measured down six inches, made a mark, and then five inches here, make a mark, then use the T-square, grab a pen, pencil, whatever you have handy, let me kick the camera real quick, and make our and draw our line. So that's probably the easiest part of the entire board is just drawing out the lines, making sure that they line up with the other boards. Um, I do have all of the other boards finished and I will throw a picture of that up now. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing your transfer from your graph paper to your uh, terrain table itself is not to be as concerned with the interior lines uh, these are likely to change as the build goes along. Say you wanted to make uh, a smaller piece just for this section, but you need a couple of extra inches here. Um, you can round this edge off to compensate for that. Round this edge off. You can make a crater here to take out part of the road system. So the interior lines, not that big of a deal. <clears throat> Where you really want to focus is, ha, ah, get it? Said focus. Uh, focus on the edges where the tables are going to be li or where the boards are going to be lining up on the table. Uh, so you want this roadway to match up with the roadway that's going to be on the next board. Uh, same as down here, if you're reconfiguring, you want to make sure that the, the um, roads line up, and you know it's not off by a half an inch or three quarters of an inch or an entire inch. Uh, so I think we'll wrap up stage two here. Keep it real short and sweet. Um, nothing really to it, just making sure that when we transfer our template to the board that we keep a close eye on the measurements, uh, making sure that each of the other five corresponding boards line up in the areas that they should. And uh, once we're done with that, move on to stage three. Uh, if you have any questions, again, please feel free to ask and I'll answer them as soon as possible. And I will take just a moment to answer uh, one of the questions I had about uh, the previous layout. Um, I was asked why I chose five inches uh, for the width of the road. <clears throat> now, uh, some of you know, some of you don't. I play Black Templars, and um, I want to make sure that my Terminators and my Land Raider can get in between the buildings. So, uh, that's pretty much my only reason for doing that is uh, making sure that I have enough room for the Land Raider, but not too much room to where an Imperial Guard Bane Blade can run down my throat. So, yeah, that's. Uh, kind of a selfish reason but uh, you know hey I'm building the board so they'll have to deal with it. Uh, another thing this is just kind of a side thought or an afterthought Crusader squads, five man tactical squads with a five inch road can uh, go five deep. There you go. So that's it. No other reason aside from um, you know just being a uh, selfish whore I guess. I don't know. So that's it. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask.